Now trust me, I know, I know it's annoying, I know it takes time to organize your photo library, but trust me, a couple years from now, you'll thank me because all your memories will be so organized so you can show your family, your friends, and even yourself, okay? You ready? Grab some popcorn and let's get started. All right, the first thing that I recommend is getting the iCloud photo library. You basically get it whenever you sign up for iCloud. Whenever I buy a new iPhone, for example, I always get the cheapest model because all of my photos are always on the cloud, right? So I always don't really need that much storage because iCloud photo library has a bunch of benefits. Main ones being, well, you have a bunch of free space on your iPhone and two, all your photos will be saved on your Mac, on your iPad, on your iPhone, and most importantly for me, on your Apple TV. So you're at home, you brought some friends, some family over for dinner, you can literally show them your trip directly on the Apple TV. And what's most important is, imagine if your iPhone gets lost or gets stolen and all your photos were saved on your iPhone and not on iCloud. All those photos are gone forever. So make sure you save and protect those images putting them on iCloud Photo Library or on Google Drive, Dropbox. I personally recommend iCloud because it syncs so well with my iPad, Apple TV, and iPhone, but you can use whatever one you want. All right, it's time to organize your photo library. The first thing that you need to know about that is something that literally nobody knows about. Every time I tell this to somebody, they're like, whoa, I did not know that. Go on the top left on your iPhone and tap on new folder. You can actually create folders inside of your photo library. So me personally, I have a travel folder. So inside of that, I have a bunch of albums. So here's the tip that I'm gonna tell you. Create a folder for different things in your life. Let it be travel, family, love, whatever you wanna do. And inside of those folders, add your albums. And you do that by going on the top left and creating an album just like that. Here's a tip as well, make those albums look pretty. What do I mean by that? Create an album cover. How do you do that? You simply go on the photo that you actually want inside of your album and tap on make key photo. Now, if you have a bunch of photos on your library, photos may be that when you were born, right? And maybe you just scanned those photos and then put them out on iCloud. The thing that I hate about that is that, for example, if I was born on 1998 and I scanned that photo in 2004, my library will act like that photo was from 2004. But did you know that you can actually change the date and time from a photo? To do that, tap on the photo that you want, tap on the three dots, and tap on adjust date and time. And from there, you can change the year, the time, whatever you want. Something really special that Apple's Photos app has is people. Apple's Photos app will actually recognize a person, a person's face, and will put all the photos of that person in a specific place, which is awesome. So my tip for you is one, to delete the people that you don't really care on having on that folder, which I'm sure you're going to have a ton. Make sure to save like your most important people in your life, your family, your close friends and stuff. And then make sure to add a key photo to those images. My personal um, people tab, I guess, is so aesthetic, right? Because I've got the most important people of my life and I've actually got, you know, key photos on all of them. So it looks pretty nice. So here's the tip, organize that section because trust me, it looks so good. Right next to people are places, which is really useful. A lot of people don't really create folders or albums on trips, for example, because they've got just that. With places, you can actually go and zoom in to a world map and actually tap on the places that you've actually shot photos. So if you travel a lot, this places tab is really, really handy sometimes. Now the For You tab on the Photos app years ago was pretty bad, but currently it's actually really good. And it actually creates a bunch of videos handmade for you from specific memories, people, adventures that you've done. It's really cool. And Apple now lets you customize them, which is pretty cool. And if you're an Apple Music subscriber, you can actually get actual songs on your videos. To actually customize the mood, you're gonna tap on the bottom left and it will change the typography, the song, and even the filter every time you swipe. And something really awesome is that you can actually save that video and send it to your friends and family. So let's say maybe 
before you tap created a video with your wife you can actually export it and send it to your wife or maybe you went on a trip with your family and it exported a video with your family make sure to send it over because they are really good sometimes now probably what's craziest about the photos app is the search tab because it's extremely powerful and the ai that is built in into the search tab is pretty incredible honestly so let's say you want to search up a photo of your dog right you've got 30,000 photos on your library like me which by the way let me know in the comments down below how many photos do you guys have on your library let's say you want to look up a photo of a dog when you're like ah oh, i forget when i took it Here's the thing, with the search tab on the photos app, you can actually search dog and all the photos of dogs that you have on your library will show up. Maybe you wanna search up a selfie on a beach that you took. Literally type in selfie on a beach and all your selfies on a beach will actually show up. So you can search a specific location, a specific person. That's why actually tagging your most important people on your photo library comes in handy because then you can actually search them as well. It's crazy the way that it works. All right, so those are all my organization tips. Now, let me tell you the tips and tricks and some hidden features that you probably did not know about. Stay tuned till the end because the last one will probably blow your mind. All right, sometimes life happens. Maybe you have an ex-boyfriend, an ex-girlfriend, an ex-wife, an ex-husband. Maybe you've gotten angry at a friend and you don't want to see, we always have those type of people, right? There are certain people that we just don't want to see anymore in our lives for any various reasons. We don't want to see them on our library, but maybe we don't want to delete the photos because maybe they're memories, but we definitely don't want them on the For You page. Or maybe you have a widget on your iPhone and you don't want that person to show up as a widget. Did you know that you can actually tell your iPhone to show that person less? To do that, simply tap on feature this person less. Did you know that whenever you send a photo to somebody, the location is actually saved in the metadata of the photo, which is awesome and comes in handy 95% of the times. There's other times that you just don't wanna share that location. To do that, swipe up on the photo, tap on the map, and then tap on adjust, and then tap on no location. By tapping on no location, you've now deleted the location of the image. Now you can obviously edit photos with the Photos app. A lot of people like it, a lot of people don't, but something that I found out recently is that the auto enhance feature on the Photos app is actually pretty good. Of course, it will not do the best edits in the world, that's why Lightroom and a bunch of apps are there, but the auto enhance, the AI that that feature has, is actually pretty good. If you've got a low light and you wanna make it brighter, or if you just wanna make an image look just better, that's why that feature is there, and my recommendation is for you to use it for your photos to look better. Something that's probably a hidden feature for a lot of people is, did you know that you can actually convert a photo to a PDF? within the photos app. To do that, tap on a photo that you wanna convert, tap on share, and there you'll open it on the books app. And from there, your photo will now be a PDF once you put it on the books app. So share it, email it, save it to your files app, but it's now a PDF. All right, are you ready for my last feature to get your mind blown before I tell you the features within iOS 16? Did you know that on the Mac, on the photos app, you can actually get rid of a person on a photo? I don't know why this feature is not available on the iPhone, but it comes in so handy. Maybe you took a photo of a beautiful sunset and there's a random person ruining the photo. On the Mac, you can actually, you can actually select that person and you can actually delete that person. Apple, why is it on the Mac and not on the iPad and on the iPhone? I need it, please. iOS 16 has also brought a couple new features to the Photos app, which are honestly mind blowing as well. Did you know that now you can actually remove the background of an image. To do that, simply tap on a photo that you want, hold on a person, object, or animal, and then simply select it. You can send it to whoever you want. It's so crazy the way that it works, and it surprisingly works just really well. Something else that's new is duplicate photos. We all have duplicate photos, right? And Apple knows that. Well, there's now a duplicates folder so you can merge photos together. So you've got eight photos of the same, you can merge them into one iOS 16 has also revamped the lock screen, which basically lets you customize the lock screen in a bunch of different ways with your photos. I actually made an entire video about iOS 16 and you can tap it right here, or you can tap this right here, which is probably a video that you probably like. Thank you for watching. You've got a bunch of homework to do organizing your photos. So yeah, now you've got homework to watch these videos, okay? Be happy, life is good, peace. I'm gonna tell you that I love you. 100 times a day, yeah.